Hi everyone, a while ago I made a video on how I made my own watercolor palette just using a cheap box that I'd gotten from Joann's and some cheap watercolors. Today I'm going to be making another customized palette and this palette is going to contain gouache instead of watercolor. If you don't know what gouache is, it's kind of like watercolor except it's more um, like acrylic as well. So I'm going to be putting all of those paints into this palette, but first I want to review it quickly for you. So the palette I'm using in today's video is this Magello or Mahello, I'm not sure how you say it, Fusion 18 watercolor palette. As I said, I'm using it for gouache. I got this on Amazon for $10, and um, it didn't give me a color choice. It shows both blue and pink in the picture, and the one that came is pink, which I'm fine with. It holds 18 colors, and it comes with this little ad for Magello or Mahello paints, um, and it's all in Japanese or Chinese, I'm not sure, because that's the brand that, or that's the company this brand comes from. One thing that I love about this palette, I'm going to bring out my other one from my old video to compare. This is the one that only cost me like six or seven dollars from Joann's. Once these, um, wells get dirty, like your mixing wells, you have to like take a wet paper towel and clean them off because you don't want to use water from your sink directly in here or else all these will get wet too. And I didn't, that's fine with watercolor, like using a paper towel isn't a big deal, but with these new ones, um, with the gouache, I don't want to do that because it, the gouache tends to dry more opaque and harder to clean. So like these two wells are fine, like I'll just use a wet paper towel. But when I want to mix big washes, that would be a pain to clean out. You can take out this clear thing and just put it in your dishwasher on the top rack. Um, if you are using watercolors with this, you can use this and have all your mixing space as well. And it's supposed to be uh, airtight, I'm not sure that it actually is. But the good thing is, it's super nice to latch. So. It won't like pop open in your bag or anything like that, which my other one tends to do. And um, you can also, I think, keep like brushes in here or something. I'm not really sure. So here are the paints I'm using. They're not super expensive, but they are gouache. And, you know, gouache is just kind of gouache unless you're using the acrylic gouache or something. So um, I'm going to do a whole video about gouache, but I wanted to make sure I had a nice palette to use in that video first. So here are my colors, and the first thing I'm going to do is lay them out around the palette. And I'll um, tell you guys my color names as I do that, so hopefully that's straight. Alright, um, I know I want to put my black at the end. And I'm not like squeezing a whole tube of gouache in here or anything. For one, that wouldn't fit. Secondly, it um, wouldn't be practical because I still use my gouache straight out of the tube. So. Actually, I'm going to put the white on the end, then the gray, then black, and these are um, Reeves gouache. Then I'm putting my burnt umber, my yellow ochre, because I consider that more of a brown usually, I don't know. Um, flush tint is going to go here, and then now we're moving on to the actual colors. So I'm going to start on this side, oh wait, I forgot burnt sienna, burnt sienna can go over here somewhere. Um, orange red and brilliant red are going to go over here. Then we have medium yellow, lemon yellow, leaf green, emerald. This is blue lake, ultramarine, violet, oops sorry there's dark green, dark green, my goodness, dark green, blue lake, ultramarine, purple, and or violet and crimson. So that makes a pretty good spectrum. And now what I'm going to do is open all of these up, squeeze a little bit in here, and then I'll talk about how I'm going to dry these somewhat into the palette. Alright, as you can see, I've put all of the gouache in here, and I know I said I wasn't going to talk a lot about gouache in this video, but one thing that I'm going to say about gouache is when it dries, 
um, when it's not diluted with water, which is the way you most often use gouache, um, when it dries in its most uh, concentrated form, straight out of the tube like this, it's not completely um, dry and flaky like watercolor would be. Like it doesn't crack. Like all the liquid doesn't absorb out of it. Um, and if you remember from my watercolor video, if you've seen that, I had to mix my watercolors with honey so that they would um, retain some of the moisture and not just crack and fall out of the pan. Um, as you saw in the beginning, I have one that did do that because I didn't add quite enough honey. Um, this green one is like super cracked and just falls out of the pan all the time, but other ones like this blue and um, like the, most of these over here have a good um, consistency. So, um, one thing that's better about using gouache in a palette like this is that it, you don't have to mix anything in, you retain like the pureness of the pigment um, because it already has those uh, glues and plastics in it to hold it together which is really nice and that's um, really cool I think. So this is going to take probably a few days to dry. I'm not sure. I know my watercolor one took quite a few days to dry. So I'm going to go set this in my upstairs landing in front of our window air conditioner. We don't have air conditioning in my house so I can set it right in front of there and I'll leave it there for a few days. Hopefully it shouldn't take as long as my watercolor one since I didn't use nearly as much paint but we will see. And then I will be back in a few days to give you a little overview and demo of how these turned out. So here's a little demonstration of a little painting I made for one of my pen pals using this new gouache. And I really liked it. Um, it's a little less opaque than it would be if you just mixed the tubes with water because you're getting like a less concentrated mixture. But you do have to use less water and it gets pretty opaque and you can layer it, um, which is different than watercolors. Also different than watercolors, it tends to not be like chalky like cheap watercolors used to be, even though this is um, cheap gouache. So that's what I like about it better. It also dries faster in the palette. Um, but you can't really see the palette on camera in this video, but it only took like a day and a half to dry and I just had it in front of my air conditioner at night and then when we turned that off I had it in front of my window for the day. And um, I really like using these. I would probably do this again when this palette gets used up, I'll probably refill it with gouache um, as opposed to watercolor, which is one thing I wasn't sure about when I first got it. Um, one thing that I did on this painting that is not a like fault of the material, it's me. Um, I didn't wait for the skin to dry because I made the skin really wet and then the nose um, and the lips both bled a little bit, but I fixed it because this is opaque enough that you can fix it and it looks fine. The only um, thing I used besides the palette and a pencil, of course, and the brushes is I used the white gouache out of the tube that I had left um, and I used that to do the eyes highlight as well as my signature at the bottom and the lip highlight and I blended that on the face um, under the eyes at the end and under the lips so right here um, you can see where I made a mistake but I fixed it so it's all good overall I would definitely recommend this if you like um, gouache to put it in the palette and I would definitely recommend the palette I used too, and you can find it on Amazon. So I will see you guys next time, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!